Hi everybody, Sensei's back with another video. Hopefully everyone's doing well at home. Uh, keeping your hands washed, helping out around the house, all that kind of good stuff. Practicing karate 23 and a half hours a day, also very valuable. We're going to be continuing our series of videos on kata using weapons. Now, today I'm going to be using the scythe. Um, there's nothing special about these uh, weapons that we're going to be using today or the kata that we're doing. The idea for all of these videos is just that you find a nice way to blend whatever weapon you happen to have in your hand with whatever the movements are that the kata dictates. Now I'm trying when I'm doing these to pick a weapon that complements whatever the kata is. So hopefully they go together well. Um, if you had <coughs> a kata that only used kicking, it wouldn't make a ton of sense to be holding a bow, for example. Um, that kind of thing doesn't, doesn't work out. But if we can have something where the hands are involved and you can use the weapon to help out, then that's always good. I understand most people are not going to have these. That's totally fine. Anything you can use. Grab a spatula, grab a fork, use your belt, grab a snow brush, anything that you like, anything you choose, you can find a way to make it work with the katas that you're doing. You just want it to make some internal sense. It should be rational why you did what you did not just that it looked cool or something like that. Um, it really is a ton of depth that you can uh, try to research if you look at things that way, rather than just looking at it superficially, step punch, step punch, and that's all there is. So when I'm doing these, uh, these are not things I practice very much. I basically came up with this 30 seconds ago. We're gonna see if it happens to be any good or not. Um, if I make mistakes, I'm gonna keep on going. The idea here is not that this is perfect, but more that I am attempting to marry together the weapon I've chosen with the kata that I've chosen to practice. So today I'm going to be doing seisan with sai. Seisan. Everybody, hope you enjoyed it. Have some fun. Remember, anytime you're practicing with anything in your hand, make sure that you're not near anything breakable. You're not near anybody that you're going to hurt. Outside is the best place to do it. Maybe pick something soft. Have a good one. Keep practicing. I hope to see everybody soon.